Hey, welcome back to Wooden Stuff. I have something awesome to show you guys today. It's a 10 piece puzzle that I made about 21 years ago. And I made this so that I could enter it into Ridge Woodcarver's very first annual Artistry in Wood show and competition. Now, this scored me a first place ribbon. In two months, we are going to have our 22nd show. So, this piece is quite old and it hasn't come apart. And probably 12 or 13 years. So I'm a tad bit concerned that the top element, the, the, the urethane may have kind of welded to itself since it's been together so long. It's to air it apart and hope for the best. Because you see, it hangs on a pair of hooks that are shaped like number sixes. So let's set the stand aside. I lift it off of off the stand and lay it down here. And let's see what we have. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing apart without any breakage here. Now, as you can see, there's a burr puzzle here and a burr there. It had this started off. It was going to be just two of the regular burrs that I've shown you guys where all six pieces have two notches. Well, it turned out that doing that, it cannot be assembled. <laughs> so I realized that if I cut a third notch in two of them, oh, here, let me show you this way, and leave one of them as a solid block, then it's able to be assembled. So, so it consists of three of those pieces. That's the bottom bird. And then two which have a third a side notch and a key. Okay, so... Yeah, and two of these, as you see, are, are shared pieces. So, 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 so here's my ten parts of this puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and let's get to it here. Okay, so... We start off, we've got to take out the key. Oddly, the key is not the piece that, that has a key on it. And then those will come off of there. And that'll come apart. Okay, and now the top bird with it well, works exactly like the, the one I, I've already demonstrated to you guys. See, oh, oh, it, 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 it might come apart. Well, hold on. There's the little sticking there. Oh, man. Come on, baby. Mmm. Yeah, this is, this is very scary here. The, the two little longer rods, well, one of them will wiggle around here, but the, the other one... Hmm. Come on, baby. You got it. Come apart. I don't want you stuck for all of eternity. Okay. Let's see if I squeeze these two. Maybe, maybe I can bust the polyurethane loose oh, without breaking any of the wood. Oh man, yeah. This is real. This is real scary here, guys. This is not. This is not very encouraging at all. And this is why on the, 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 these puzzles now, I do not use. A urethane or or lacquer. I mean, these days on my trick card items, I only use lacquer. But on these burr puzzles, oh, oh, oh I heard a noise. That's good. Uh, the, these burrs here, um, um, any finish that creates a film, 
there's a chance that over time it's gonna weld to itself. But I can see a little progress here. Man, scary. Very scary. Come on. I'm definitely not liking what I'm seeing here. The, the welded part seemed to, to be... Oh, there we go. I heard a noise. Which was not wood cracking. <laughs> so, if I just keep working at it, I might break the pieces loose, but not break the pieces. Okay, encouraging noise. Oh, oh, look at that. There's some more jiggle in the wiggle. Mm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 this is looking okay. This is gonna work out, I think. Now, can I just pop that piece loose from that one? Hmm, talk about a puzzle. Well, but that's crooked to solve. Okay, I think I can get the part now. Look at that. Look at that, yes, yes. Man, it hasn't been a part in a long time. Oh, yes, okay. There we go. <laughs> so here's the 10 piece double burr I came uh, up with. Oh yeah, and I can see where it's stuck right there and there. That's not bad. Only tiny little spots. There, there. Okay, okay, that's not bad. There, uh, towards the sun of the varnish off right there. And there. Alright, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So here's what we have that makes up the 10 piece puzzle. Okay, we've got an alien head here. And you you can see his brain on the back. Alien, brain, oh, 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 wearing a necklace. And some basic chain link. Okay, on this piece here, we have a ring, a ball, and a socket kind of thing. Some chain links. And here's some twisted links on this end. The next piece, we've got a plunger. We have half links, half links. A ball and a socket. And a three-barred cage with a slug inside of it. Next, we've got a ring and a pivot will be a ring and a cage. And on th this end, a, a vertical ring and telescoping rings, which make a, a diamond back rattlesnake, which can strike out at you. And well, let's see here. Here's a piece with rings on it. But now the wider a ring gets, the, the more of a challenge it is to cut loose. And it's got a hard diamond rectangle and a plus or a cross or a ring and an even wider ring on a shaft. I had the airs, uh, one I had to cut uh, the notch in so I could assemble the, the puzzle. And it turns out, I learned later, that this is a way that that bird is sometimes done. So, 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 so I. I thought that I had invented a new well, way of doing it, but I only rediscovered an old way of doing it. <laughs> and there's the Crazy 8. The skeleton key. Rope rings here. With some rope rings in the rings. There's the other the spe the special cut notch there. With chain links. And two balls in a cage, or a ball and an ovoid in a cage. This is the key. It has got to be inserted last, and it has to come out first. And it's got three um, rubber rings on that side, and three on that side. Those are left squared. Those are shaped more like a diamond. And then here's the two common pieces. Okay, so there's... Oh, yeah, I, I can see it stuck really bad there. Hmm. But there's elements of the top burr and the bottom burr. And it's got a face there, a Chinese guy with like, buck teeth. <laughs> and as it turns, you see how it merges to create a face there with the, the tongue sticking out. Okay? And we've got a twist here and two hanging things. That, that part actually started up here. Oh. Hmm. There we go. Now that started here. And we've got a ball in a cage in a cage. Okay? And on that side is our six shaped hook. And here's our other hook. Those are what it hangs by on the frame. The top and bottom puzzle elements. And a, um, a face there. 
like the dorky face that turns into a distinguished gentleman. Okay, and you, so see how they they share ears, isn't that cool? And then a strange shaped section there with a I don't know, a ball in a socket almost a little there, and a ball in a cage. And that is my 10-piece double burr trick-carved hanging puzzle. Yay, I, I got it apart and I didn't destroy it in the process. Honestly, I was a little concerned about that. Now, that is based on an idea of mine that I called the, the double burr. Or in this case, the double star. Alright, I'm going to do a video explaining how you can make your own double star puzzle. I'll also do one <laughs> explaining how I made, <coughs> excuse me, and how you can make your very own starburst puzzle. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Now, this one consists of two dozen separate pieces, but don't let that intimidate you. If you can make the six-piece burr I've shown you, you can make the 24-piece starburst. And people love it, and it'll definitely stump the, uh, those puzzlers in your life. So, so, there's two more installments in the Burr Puzzle series that I'm doing. And then after that, we'll move on to things that have nothing to do with puzzles, nothing to do with magic tricks, but I promise you, it's going to be awesome. So, get into your shop, make something cool, and until next time, thanks for watching.